Besides, I realized I already have a family. You. If you're anything like me, then you love spending a lot of time on YouTube re-watching scenes from your favorite gay couples. In this video, I will list what I believe to be 8 of the best gay couples in TV history. I decided to list only male-to-male -male relationships because I believe female couples deserve a separate video all to themselves. So without further ado, here are 8 of the best gay couples in TV history. You know how to tie my own tie. Ah, oh, you know how to do it badly. Now, it's perfect. Danny and Ethan aren't as iconic as some of the other entries in this list, but they're definitely one of the hottest. Their relationship takes some time to develop since Ethan was introduced all the way back in Season 3. Up until then though, Danny was not seen as a very important character. It was the arrival of Ethan that changed his character for the best. Danny was no longer just a sidekick, he was now Ethan's home, providing him with a much needed break from all the fighting and drama. Hey, I like you. A lot. You're incredibly good looking. <laughs> And smart, and sweet, and... So, I didn't know I was gay. I, I knew that I had feelings for boys, but I didn't understand it. Not until you kissed me. You kissed me. When Levi was introduced to the show, he was already a great character. We saw him evolve from a shy, nerdy guy to a confident man. This was in part thanks to Nico his boyfriend who was introduced just one season after. Their relationship has had its ups and downs, but we can't get enough of those two. And no matter what they go through, we will always root for them. And everything fell into place. For the first time, it felt like I was holding the sun sword, and I know... Uh, are, are, are you just kissing me to get me to stop talking? No. So? So what? I love you. Connor and Oliver's relationship was always a tumultuous one, full of twists and turns and a lot of drama, but also a lot of love and passion. Connor met Oliver in season one while working as an intern for a prominent law firm. Knowing that Oliver was a hacker, Connor seduced him in an attempt to obtain illegal information through him. The two quickly formed a deep bond, and although they separated from each other, the couple did ultimately find a way back. Death, murder, and trauma. And that's gonna follow us always. No. If we stay together. No, you don't get to do this. I made my decision. I know you still love me. We're done. No, look at me. Look at me. And tell me that you don't love me. Say it. I want to hear you say it. See? <laughs> you can't. Their relationship stands out for being an example of encouragement, support, and the importance of staying strong in the face of adversity. I love you. All right? I love you, stupid. I didn't know who this couple was until very recently. However, I fell in love with them immediately. Jude and Ciro are from a TV show called Hit the Floor, which started airing back in 2013 and ended in 2018. The show's story revolves around a fictional basketball team and their management. When Jude becomes Ciro's agent, their relationship takes an unexpected romantic turn. The writers did an amazing job at portraying the characters' emotions throughout the show. They feel real and relatable, while also staying away from the cliché. It is a little unfortunate that their presence in the show is not too prominent. Nonetheless, this is an epic love story that will leave you wanting more. I can't talk now, I'm meeting someone. Lucas isn't coming. Why not? Because I told him not to. Twelve. 
get Will Horton to fall in love with me. Did you just write this like five minutes ago? <laughs> no, I wrote it last year. You serious? That's what I wanted all year. Will and Sonny's story feels like going through every struggle you can imagine as a gay couple. The two have faced everything from having to come out as gay to the struggles of finding true love in each other and even having to raise a daughter together. Their story is one of my personal favorites because it feels so complete. The actors feel very authentic and their chemistry is undeniable. Unfortunately, if you want to see their story, you will have to scavenge a little to find their episodes as they come from a very popular soap opera called Days of Our Lives. If you manage to find their episodes, I urge you to give them a try. It is a little slow at the beginning, but once their story picks up, I promise that it will also become one of your favorites. Unless you come to my house too. You ever been to a Greek Christmas? No, but I'm looking forward to my first one. Tío, lo siento, es que me tengo que ir. Venga ya. David, que yo también tengo padres. Que no, que no, que te esperas a que te dejemos en casa y luego pues ya te vas. Fed and David will probably be the least known couple in this list, as they come from a TV show known as Physics or Chemistry that was originally aired in Spain. Their story is undeniably one of the best love stories I've ever seen. Fed and David are such intricate and deep characters that you will find yourself crying of happiness and sadness at every turn of their relationship. Their relationship started in season 3, and it took the show by storm quickly becoming the favorite among the couples. I will not spoil anything in case you haven't seen it yet, but I will say that the end is incredibly deep and meaningful. I highly recommend you give this couple a try, if you can find their videos translated somewhere. Excuse me, um, hi, can I ask you a question? I'm, I'm new here. My name is Blaine. Kurt. Kurt and Blaine need no introduction. Coming from the very popular show Glee, this couple became very iconic and even important to gay culture. When Blaine was introduced, Kurt was struggling to find his place in school, and even in the Glee club. Blaine changed that, however, making Kurt's character even more meaningful and important. Their relationship is developed carefully from the beginning, and it culminates in what is possibly one of the best endings for a couple ever. You move me, Kurt. And this duet would just be an excuse to spend more time with you. Excuse me! Can I get everybody's attention, please? I just want everybody here to know I'm fucking gay. Ian and Mickey is another couple that does not need introduction. From the popular TV show, Shameless, this couple quickly became one of the most beloved in TV history. Their relationship has weathered through so much hardship that it is almost impossible to believe the writers found a way to keep them together. Ian and Mickey stood by each other's sides through everything, and I really do mean everything. The couple has faced illness, poverty, breakups, jail time, you name it. But the writers have managed to keep their relationship meaningful and exciting. The show is now in its final season, and the characters have grown so much through time. It will definitely be hard saying goodbye to these two. It doesn't make a difference if we make the fuck it. Did all you know that? Little bird told me. We yeah. got each other. And that's a lot for love. You're a sneaky bastard. We'll give it a shot. Did I miss any of your favorite gay couples? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more content.